Alrighty, hello everybody, and I have to remember to look at this camera up here. Not the best angle, I prefer this camera angle, but I'm kind of moving everything around again, trying to get ready to really push stuff forward. Coming off a fairly rough week, and it's kind of motivated me. Uh, I'm trying to take negative energy and turn it into positive energy, and I'm kind of really hoping I can follow through on it this time. A lot of what I'm going to say today you will have already heard it's also incredibly warm in here right now and i've turned my fan off and i am starting to sweat the lighting is probably terrible and it's probably sound atrocious but this is the august update video i'm recording this on the 18th of august so i'm getting this out nice and time but honestly before today i didn't know honestly didn't know what to say in an update video i didn't know what i wanted to do i didn't know where i wanted to move and I think I'm getting to a point now where I do kind of know where I want to put my efforts, where I want to scale back my efforts. And I'm just going to kind of discuss that today. So probably the one people are most interested in is the Twitch streaming stuff. More or less, we're going to keep going the way that we are, I think. Uh, the plan is to keep on going. So Monday to Friday... Uh, 1 p.m. UK time till 5 p.m. UK time, so four-hour stretch. At one point, I was playing around with the idea of going to for longer streams. I may do longer streams every now and again if we get into a game that I'm enjoying and I just want to carry on. If we get into a part of a satisfactory build, which will be coming back, by the way, I've kind of took a little break. I need to. I always need to change things up a little bit and take a break. Um, so we played through Raft uh, recently. That took us what a week, a week and a bit to get through Raft story. I enjoy the raft gameplay. wasn't a huge fan of how the story went, where it ended up, and the 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 rhino shark and the laser puzzle can honestly go die in a ditch. They were, in my opinion, terrible, especially for a solo player. Maybe in a group they wouldn't have been so bad, but as a solo player, that was not a fun time. Glad I went back. Glad I played it. Played it in early access. Glad I went back and played the the final version. Got through the story. Um, I doubt we'll see it again. I doubt I will build my raft and sail around, but maybe, you know, on, on a chill Friday or if we just want a chill stream, I might just do some raft building. But we're probably done with raft for the foreseeable future. We dipped our toes back into Overwatch 2, uh, Farpoint, Farscape, Far Away. I can't actually think what it's called now. Flashpoint, Flashpoint. Uh, the Flashpoint game mode, I think, has potential but everything else still feels the same old overwatch uh they just want money for nothing and i doubt it is a game that we will see very often on stream going forward if at all um shooters that are likely to fill that spot for now are paladins um and maybe apex but honestly i'm not feeling the need apart from every now and again where i really want to go rudy tooty shooty I'm not missing the shooters as much as I used to. As much as I did the first time, I kind of tried to give them up as my streaming crutch. Uh, I've much preferred going back to Raft um, and going back to Satisfactory and using those as the kind of crutch streams. And hopefully we can do that going forward. Next week, uh, Monday, the whatever of August that will be, we will be doing Stray. And for the foreseeable future, hopefully on Sundays, LP and I, sometimes with Rydog, uh, making our way through Baldur's Gate 3 which is a game I am enjoying I don't think it deserves the the uh, the amount of praise it's getting I do not think it's a great genre defining game in any way shape or form uh, I think it's held back by the Dungeons and Dragons uh, fifth edition combat rules personal opinion um, but it is good there's a lot of content it's a decent price and the multiplayer works fairly seamlessly uh so I, I do think it's worth the money and i do think it's worth playing through if it's something you want to do i am much enjoying playing it more that was a really bad sentence of english as was my explanation of bad english i'm much enjoying it playing with a friend uh in a group uh, i am i do have a solo playthrough on the go which i kind of drop into every now and again but honestly i'm back to not playing games off stream as much because i'm trying to get more work done so with that in mind, uh, last video, I believe I said I was trying to do reviews, uh, kind of quick down and dirty reviews. I was going to do Blackadder. 
I did three. I did three or four. I was editing them. I watched them back, and I kind of decided I didn't enjoy making them. Uh, I didn't think they were a fun watch, and I honestly just don't think doing that kind of review work is where I excel. I don't think I'm good at it. Uh, I don't think I can make it entertaining enough, and I don't think I enjoy it enough to kind of push through to see if I can get somewhere good at the end. So I think I'm going to abandon that whole idea. We're just going to consider that done. The other one, which is reviewing uh, every number one film of every year since I was born, I am going to push forward with because I have been enjoying doing that a lot. It's a lot more work than I uh, think it was going to be. But I think once I've got the format down, because I'm trying to get the format down for the first one. So obviously there's going to be the film review, but I kind of want to add a little bit of what was going on in the world yeah, and all that kind of stuff. But I think once I've got kind of the sections down, you know, whether it be, you know, introduction to the year, uh, what was Cakey doing, uh, film review, and then maybe some kind of, you know, um, outro detailing what's going to be next year. I think once I've got that format down, we can then kind of get those out probably i'm aiming for once a month but i don't think the, the first one's going to take the longest and i'm aiming for maybe october to give me another like month and a half bang about i've been working on it for about a month and a half already and then maybe from then we can do um although now i'm thinking about it i might actually push it to 2024 and do some other film reviews kind of with the same kind of idea same kind of format uh to kind of warm up and and see if i can get into the into the uh into the flow and then see if we can do them um going forward into 2024 kind of think off the top of my head there i haven't quite decided on that one but yes the the tv review stuff i'm not going to do i i just wasn't enjoying it and i i don't really want to put my time and effort in there um but the 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 film stuff the 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 film every year since i've been born yes we will be going forward with that and one, a video will be coming out at some point um so what else have i got what have i decided to do i'm gonna bring it it's an outlay but i'm gonna bring the cakeyverse website back i want to get more writing work done uh, this is one of the things that i've realized by kind of doing you know seeing if i can do podcasts seeing if i can do video uh what i've realized is i enjoy the writing stuff the most and i kind of just want to get back to that and see if i can really get some writing done out um and try to kind of keep that going on a fairly regular basis hopefully pushing towards a point where i will be able to you know okay you 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 read it but if you want to buy the the whole collection i may put it together in a pdf or an epub or whatever the hell ebooks use these days um and maybe try and sell it for a few bucks um I haven't decided or I might just put it on for free. I, I honestly can't remember how Amazon publishing works. I did it a long time ago and I haven't done it for a while. But um, that's down the road. First part, try and get Cakeverse up and running again. Um, and in that regard, as for content that's going to go on there, so obviously carry on the Cakeverse stuff, Cakeverse law. I am doing trying to develop a game in Unreal Engine 5 as well. Uh, that is going to continue and I am going to hopefully get to a point where I can start to document that a little bit more. There will be posts going onto the Cakeverse website about that. Um, the kind of building up the Cakeverse law, building up the game do kind of go hand in hand a little bit. So I'll be trying to synergize uh, there, but hopefully, uh, and there will also be, hopefully I can get to a point where I can do videos about what I'm trying to do in the game, how I'm developing it, how I think it's going. Um, Those will go up on a different channel that nobody knows about yet. Um, But, and then hopefully with some written stuff as well, explaining, you know, law, my ideas, kind of what I want to do and all this this kind of stuff. Um, And then the other kind of YouTube side of things, um, I want to start doing solo. I'm not going to say D&D. Some of them will be D&D, but I want to do solo tabletop RPGs. Um... Iron Sworn and Starforged, I think, are two of the most well known for kind of solo play, and then D and D with Mythic. Um, kind of want to get in, start playing through those, and then documenting it. If I do a video, it will be a long form. I will probably sit down for two hour sessions and either stream it or record it. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then I will also kind of log those. 
whether I try to log those in a kind of fancy, the diary of blah, 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 depending on which character is playing, or if I simply log them like I have my first attempt, um, which when I, I do the Cakeyverse, make it go live again, the kind of first attempt I did many, about a year ago now, uh, with the log and the video is there to kind of people to kind of get an idea of, of what it will be like. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I will do that very kind of harsh log idea or if I will try and fancify it and kind of turn the turn the what happens in the event into some kind of um ongoing chapter story but then link back to the playthrough session as well um but I'm going to get back into those uh the reason I've got this camera up um well one this is my good camera I actually put this up because I did an unboxing of stuff that on Owen sent me thank you again on Owen for the stuff it was very much appreciated um but I actually want to put this camera on the table that's behind me. I want to get this set up for, um, well, I don't know if you can quite see it, but I've got Cthulhu Death May Die uh, behind me. Uh, I've recorded a couple of Hero Quest videos, and I want to record a couple more. I want to start to go through Cthulhu. I haven't actually played it yet. I brought it ages ago when I had more money coming in, but I haven't actually played it yet. So I kind of want to get it. I want to paint up a few of the miniatures. Um before i do and then i i'm i probably record some of this i might even stream some of this i might do a couple of friday streams where i just paint some models just something you know nice and relaxing to do on a friday um and then try and get a playthrough going uh of the board game stuff um when it comes to the board game stuff i'm gonna play through what i've got and then if it's gaining any traction if i'm enjoying doing it that's kind of the main part if i'm enjoying doing it uh for one and then if it's gaining any traction then i may start to pick up more board games um and bring those in but i haven't decided yet uh is there anything else that i want to talk this is probably overly long already uh i think that about covers it um yeah the, the main points are you know twitch streams are going to remain uh one till five um probably moving away from the shooter games more more or less entirely um you know unless overwatch 2 does something to redeem itself uh, in the coming months or you know if another shooter pops up in the meantime which i really enjoy then yeah we, we will play that um and yeah I, i'm trying to stick to so we, we basically played raft and we only did raft uh normally i kind of you know i'll do like one session of raft and then i'll do one session of something else trying to stick to if we get into a game so when once we start stray uh assuming i'm i i like stray the plan is kind of play through that i've picked up cyberpunk 2077 as well so we, we will play through that hopefully if i enjoy it um and then there'll be the odd stream that will bring um oh, i forgot what's called that vampire survivors also survivors like game that i picked up that i really liked i think it begins with the word hammer but i'm not 100 percent. we're bringing things like that brotato kind of the smaller kind of um you know, cross the obelisk slay the spy that kind of stuff where we can just kind of do one one session and then um move on from there so yeah but no, the, the main point is the the tv reviews i'm not going to do I, I i just wasn't enjoying it it's as simple as that I, I wasn't enjoying it it was a lot of work for something that i just didn't think was very good and just didn't particularly like doing um and i think my by episode three i think my disinterest was very much coming through on video so I just like this just isn't worth the time um cakey verse coming back more written stuff uh and then trying to think of more things i can put on there one thing i am toying with is bringing back the uh getting story prompts from twitch which i used to do that would probably be a weekly thing i don't know how i do it ever be just a fairly expensive channel point or um give up give people the option to try and spin to 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 get the win and then they can do the prompt i i haven't really thought it through but i am thinking of bringing those back uh, and again trying to do those those twitch stories as a kind of continuing narrative um based on prompts and stuff that i get from twitch so we're gonna play around with that as well um we did also have the the big anniversary five years really really enjoyable stream and i want to thank everybody who turned up for that and supported that that really was a lot of fun that was very much a highlight uh of all the streams that i've done uh i think that one will, will be up there for a while um and honestly lifted me up at, at a point where 
it would be very easy i think for me to just walk away from streaming um you know twitch is doing weird twitch things kick is looking like a fairly horrible insidious place to stream um the gaming landscape a lot of games are coming out that a lot of people are enjoying um but you know until recently until borders gate 3 came out starfield's coming out you know i'll uh, hopefully pick that up uh, maybe play through that as well but really there, there wasn't a lot of games i wanted to play so i went back to satisfactory satisfactory was a huge blessing um in that regard it, you know it would have been easy i think to, to to contemplate you know going well you know i've been struggling you know trying to stream and build a build a business out of doing streaming tv work script work for the past five years and haven't really got anywhere um which is still very true i still haven't really got anywhere but i think it would have been easy to kind of walk away from that but the five-year stream was good i i love the support i i like the fact that we're getting a few more people coming back now which is really nice um so we're going to stick with it we're going to stick with it we're going to see what we can do um see if we can turn something around before the end of the year it's kind of the plan kind of my kind of a deadline i put in place for myself um and yeah i'm going to stop waffling i again i don't really know what i've said uh in this video um but hopefully there was some useful information there anyway uh and i just wanted to get it out get it done um so I can stop worrying about doing an update video. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you all when I see you all. Bye for now.